welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can probably hear, I'm still not 100%. I've had a nightmare trying to get my voice back after this flu virus that's been going around. And I've got a sickness bug too. Ah, it's been fun and games this week, guys. But I wanted to do a video and I was missing you a lot, so here I am. So please bear with my voice. Hopefully it will be back by the weekend. Oh, it's a pain in the backside, isn't it? Them flus, I don't know about if it's me getting older. But um, they wipe me out now. All the weekend I slept, hardly ate, just drank water, couldn't even drink coffee, which I love. So, but I think I'm on the mend. I feel good, feel all right. I'm just, I sound dreadful. As you know, a little while ago, um, I discovered the band, the Tiger Lilies, and I said I was gonna go on a bit of a quest to try and collect some of their discography, if not a lot of it. Well, while I was off, a few uh, deliveries arrived, etc. Uh, so I thought I'd go through them, show you them, unwrap a couple maybe, and a couple of surprises. Now, before I get going, um, I want to say on the the 15th of February, um, I see on Facebook, the Tiger Lilies put out their 30th anniversary album. That's right, they've been going since 1989. And the album is called The Devil's Fairground. So I thought, oh, I think I'll have a bit of that available on vinyl too. So straight away, went on to Amazon, see it there. Arriving on the 19th, I thought, perfect. Paid for it, ordered it. Come the 19th, I'm thinking it's still not left yet. It's not been dispatched. It's arriving on the 19th of March. Good one, Stripey. But it's in the bag. Um, I've got it coming. Uh, and all I can say is, thank God for Spotify. So, I've been listening to it and there's some great songs on it. Obviously, the opening track, The Devil's Fairground, um, is that all there is? Uh, there's a music video to that. I'll put a link to that downstairs. And one that's really, really gripping me at the minute it's called Gypsies. Just that opening riff. Oh, perfect. I think the guys are out in Australia at the minute in Adelaide, so good luck out there, boys. I know you don't watch these, but good luck out there. Right, anyway, so I've got the Devil's Fairground, so that'll be the free vinyls that they've got available in the world. Bad Blood and Blasphemy, Cold Night in Soho, and that. I soon we'll have the three, which is encouraging. Right, so let's get underway. I've only got a few CDs to show you, but I'll do that now. Uh, now, the wifey got me a couple um, for Valentine's Day, and I just haven't had an opportunity to open it yet. It's still sealed, as you can see. The double CD to the rhyme of the ancient mariner. So I thought, well, I've been itching to open it, to be honest with you. And then I got ill, and I was thinking, leave it sealed until I can do a video, because I want to sort of build this up a little. For you, for the Tiger Lilies fans out there, um, but I'm really stoked about getting this one, because this was one of the first, uh, first CDs, or first albums I heard. Um... I do like the way that, oh well. Mini cellophane bit. <laughs> right, let's have a little look then. I love their artwork to their CDs, really nice. Really nice. Oh, so here's our lyric book, I do believe. Yes, I mean, they're, not, they're, they're a work of art on their own, aren't they? Just their lyric books. They do remind me of Tom Waits in a way. Not the way they present their CDs, not necessarily their musical sound. But this is pretty, isn't it? So we've got the 
double CD. Ding. Don't think I've ever shown CDs on this channel, have I? Whatever next. So that was off the wife of Valentine's. It's got some great songs on it. And that's really lovely package, isn't it? Really lovely. So that was the first one, quite delighted with. Part of the collection. The next one, Goosebumps. Um, I got this one myself recently. Um, there's a track called Hubba, Hubble Bubble, Toil and Trouble, and it's just bizarre, but it's got some crazy sounds. So, I've got a few of these. That's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. And again, Tiger Lily's Goosebumps. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant, look at that. Hubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Cuckoo song. I've been really enjoying these, I must admit. So, so there you go. That's Goosebumps that I got for myself. Um, the next one is Corrido de la Sangre. And I love the opening track, Day of the Dead. Welcome to the circus, the Day of the Dead. Oh. Wish I could play some guys. And again, they're, they're you know they're quite easy to find on YouTube. Um, just I'm not loud, as we all know. I get well done. And he's going for the hat trick. Look at that. <laughs> Quality. Nice. And again. The lyric book. This is a thick one. Nice. I still need to get myself a decent CD player. I haven't gotten round to it yet. I cannot wait to go and see these guys, you know. It's going to be fun. So that's Corrido de la Sagre. So that's the third one. Now, this is another one wifey got me for Valentine's Day. Now, it's not brand new, and I'll explain why. It's called L Lulu, A Murder Ballad by the Tiger Lilies. And it has the song Jack on it. Now, I haven't played all this yet. But the reason why she got me this, I spied it on eBay, but forgot about it pretty much. There's the book with all the lyrics, etc. But why I was pretty excited about this one is because it's actually signed by the band. See that? How cool is that? She's amazing, the wife. She really is. So, and amazing condition. Obviously a fan to get it signed. Um, I would never have got rid of it. But there you go. So thank you very much for that, wifey. You are the best. So I've got a signed Tiger Lily CD. I'm looking forward to playing it, but like I said, it's, there is so much to absorb. Um, and I am trying to absorb them properly so I know the songs. Um, but I've got it, and I'm well pleased. Right, 
And finally, do you remember when I first done my, I think I've done two Tiger Lilies videos, and I said there was a CD on Amazon, and it was like 900 or 800 pound, it was ludicrous, called Either Or. Well, I have it like in my eBay to keep an eye on, and would you believe it, someone sold it in the States. Bang. I think at the moment there's one on Amazon for about £150. Uh, this one came all the way from America. Um, obviously not brand new, but look, properly looked after. It's immaculate. So I'll show you. But I love this album. I really like this one. I never actually thought I'd get it. I thought it was way out of my price range and just rare as rocking horse shit. So I just didn't think I'd get it. And bang, there you go. Tiger Lilies either or. With the booklet, of course. Of all the lyrics. The gutter. Brilliant song, brilliant. He's so bad, love for Sal. Oh, love it. So I've actually got a copy of Either Or, and it's immaculate, perfect. I do wish they was on record, but that's just not how they're released. So yeah, never thought I'd actually get my hands on a copy and it really wasn't that difficult. It took a, a couple of weeks for it to come through, but well worth the wait. Now, the next one on my list I'm gonna try and get my hands on is called Here I Am Human. Um, there's one on eBay for about 50 pounds sealed, or there's one on Discogs, but he wants a lot of money for it. So I'm going to keep my eye out, but that's going to be my next purchase if I can. But they seem to go, they get sold out really, really quickly. And uh, yeah, and then the prices start to shoot up. But my Tiger Lilies hold is actually coming together really, really nice. So yeah, that's it really for today, guys. I just wanted to say hello and uh, do a quick video on that. And Oh, and also, I had my first Patreon. Thank you very much, Football FM. Really appreciate it. It's really kind of you. And for all you guys uh, that don't know, I've got a Facebook page now and a Twitter. I'll put a link to them down below. And if you wouldn't like to support Stripey Rambles um, on Patreon, I'll put a link to that in the description down below as well. But Football FM... Thank you very much. Very encouraging. And it will push me to make more videos, of course. I'm still getting grief from YouTube, but it's, I'm waiting to hear at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I was very overwhelmed. I mean, I've only just set up my Patreon. And to get my very first one straight away was kind of nice. It was kind of nice. So I'm going to wrap that up for today, guys, because not only is this hurting my voice, it's probably doing your head in as well, because... I can hardly talk, let's be honest. Uh, but I wanted to say hello. I was missing you a lot. Um, and I wanted to sort of show him a little tiger that he's hoard that's coming on quite nicely. Like I said, I would like to have had the Devil's Fairground um, to show you, but that's not gonna arrive now until the 19th of March. But it's got a lovely big white cover, well, like a Devil's cover on the front. And I do believe when I go and see them in Bristol in May, I'm going to take that album with me just in case I can meet the boys and say thank you for the music and hopefully they'll sign it. Hopefully. But I'm blown away. Totally original. Never heard anything like it before. Bit shocking, a little bit daring, avant-garde, weird, crazy, dark. But ultimately very, very good. Anyway before I run out of voice. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
please give this video a thumbs up or or if you're not a subscriber to the channel please hit that subscribe button down below and i'll be back with another ramble real soon take care guys